After studying this module, you shall be able to know about the calculation of stability constant using polarographic method, learn the role of Ilkovic equations and Nernst equations, compare the advantages of polarographic methods over others. Now let us introduce ourselves. In these methods, dropping mercury electrode is used at which the metal ions can be reduced to metallic state. Here, the reduction is irreversible. Metal reacts with a complexing agent in the following ways in polarographic reduction. If the complex formation reaction is slow with the reduction of metal ions, then two polarographic waves are obtained. The first correspond to the reduction of free metal ion and the second wave corresponds to the complex metal ion. The height of the wave determines the amount of free metal ion. From the dependence of the height of the wave on the ligand concentration, the composition and stability constant of the complex form can be calculated. The second possibility is that if the complex formation reaction is fast as compared with the reduction of free metal ion, then one polarographic wave occurs with a half wave potential more negative than that of uncomplexed metal ion. The shift in half wave potential with complex concentration helps in the determination of stability constant. During polarographic measurements, falling points should be taken care of. Number 1. Calomel electrode should be used as a reference either immersed in the solution to be measured or connected to the cell via a salt bridge. Nitrogen gas should be used to remove oxygen from the solution instead of sulphide. Voltage should also be checked properly so that shift of half wave potential can be noticed. Half wave potentials are determined from the polarogram by graphical projection and more accurately by plotting calculated values of log j into the difference of i d minus i naught as a function of voltage to obtain a straight line which intersect the abscissa at a voltage equal to the half wave potential. The current i and limiting current i d can be read from the polarogram directly in millimeters as units cancel in the ratio. Gelatin may be used for suppressing maximas. Now we will understand the polarographic methods. The technique was developed by Herosky. It is simple electrochemical technique in which we study the reduction of metal ion with variation in potential and complexation of metal ion leads to more negative value of E half when we add more ligand. At the surface of dropping mercury electrode, the metal is present in the reduced state of the concentration gradient Cm minus Cm naught. In dropping mercury electrode represented by DME, mercury is provided drop wise in the solution where metal ion form metal amalgam. As a result, the concentration of metal ion decreases near the dropping mercury electrode. Hence, flow of ions from higher concentration to lower concentration takes place and current starts flowing. This current is known as diffusion current and represented by ID. The flow remains constant when whole of the metal ion solution forms amalgam. Now we see the polarogram. In a polarogram, the potential at half of the diffusion current is called half wave potential and represented by E half. E half is the characteristic of particular metal ion and it shifts to more negative value in the presence of ligand. Now we will see the Ilkovic equation. This equation introduces the diffusion current where the C is the concentration in moles per liter, the D is the diffusion coefficient of the molecule or atom or any other species. T is the drop time represented in DME units, M is the mass of the drop or flow rate of the drop and N is the number of drops. Since number of drops, diffusion coefficient, drop time and mass of the drop 
are all constant terms, so we can say that ID is directly proportional to the concentration. Now we will see the determination of stability constant using polarographic method. When metal ion undergoes reversible reduction at dropping mercury electrode, the metal ion behaves in presence of complexing agent in either of the two ways. First one in which the rate of complexation is faster than the reduction of metal ion. Under such condition, we will get only one type of wave or single wave with more negative E half and change in E half with added ligand can be used for finding the beta and the composition of the complex. The second one in which the rate of complexation may be slow as compared to the reduction of metal. In this case, we obtain two waves, one due to the free metal ion and second due to the complex metal ion and change in the wave height can act as a function of added ligand. Now let us see the Nernst equation which is E cell is equals to E naught cell minus 2.303 RT by NF into log of concentration of free metal ion divided by the concentration of complex metal. Cm naught is the concentration of metal ion at the surface of the electron and Cm naught divided by the concentration of metal in free state is given by this expression. Therefore, by using this expression of concentration of metal ion in free state as Cm naught divided by phi in the Nernst equation, we have equation number 3. It is not the complex which is reduced, it is the free metal ion which is reduced and we have ID is equals to D into C, where D is the diffusion constant and C is the concentration of metal ion in reduced state. When the complex formation is taking place, then we have this expression and ultimately we have equation number 4 which is ID is equals to D bar into Cm, where Cm is the total metal ion concentration and D bar is average diffusion constant. Since the produced current depends on the concentration of metals, let us consider Cm as the total metal ion concentration and Cm naught as the concentration of metal ion at the mercury surface. Now you can see that the equation number 5. Putting equation 5 in equation 3, we have equation A which is E cell is equals to E naught cell minus 2.303 RT by NF into log of ID minus I divided by D bar multiplied by I upon phi into M. But I is directly proportional to M. If delta is the proportionality constant, then we can say that I is equals to delta into concentration of M. And therefore, 1 by M is equals to delta upon I. Now putting this equation 6 in equation A, we have these expressions. Now further considering E is equals to E half and I is equals to I d by 2, we have these expression. Therefore, delta E half is equals to E half S minus E half C. which leads to the equation number 7. Now, I D M A is equals to D bar C M and I M is equals to D naught C M. So, therefore, D bar by D naught is equals to I D 
एम ए अपॉन आई एम नाउ वी कैन फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ फाइव बाई टेकिंग द एंटी लॉग ऑफ दिस एक्सप्रेशन फॉर अ सीरीज ऑफ सोल्यूशन प्रिपेयर फॉर द सेम टोटल मेटल आइन कॉन्सेंट्रेशन बाय डिफरेंट अमाउंट ऑफ लीगेंड फाइव कैन बी कैलकुलेटेड फ्रॉम द अब इक्वेशन डेल्टा ई हाफ कैन बी ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम द डिफरेंस ऑफ हाफ वेव पोटेंशियल फॉर द मेटल आयन्स इन प्रेजेंस एंड एबसेंस ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्सिंग लीगेंड The ratio of I d by I can be obtained by dividing height of the polarographic wave for the metal ion in absence and presence of the ligand. For the special case, only one complex M a n predominates, and all values of beta i compared to beta n can be neglected. That makes phi is equals to one plus beta n. into concentration of a raised to the power of n in such cases value of beta n will be very very high and digit 1 can be neglected as compared to beta n into a to the power of n value therefore phi is equals to beta n into concentration of a raised to the power of n now on applying value of equation 8 and 9 and putting in equation 7 we have the following expression on plotting graph between delta e half and log of concentration of a slope will be equal to n and beta n can be obtained from the intercept now let us summarize stability constant can be determined easily by using polarographic method for the case in which the rate of complex formation is comparative then the rate of reduction of metal ion that occur at the surface of dropping mercury electron the value of stability constant is obtained by using difference of half wave potential for uncomplexed and complex metal ions the method is rapid and easy to use